Hey, Milka, the election's coming up. Are you going to vote for Kamala? Mm -hmm. Vote for Kamala. I'm not really sure yet. Why not? I really want for Kamala to pass a child support forgiveness bill. The government keeps sending me all these messages about, you know, tuition and college forgiveness. How about child support? Hey, beautiful people, and welcome back again to another interesting video. Harrison Buckler has done it again. He's saying that women should step aside. Let me remind you who it is. It was the one that said a woman is nothing until... He was giving a speech at his graduation, right? And it was like a woman is nothing until she has a family, until she has children, and she's older than a man. Like, she gets married and have kids. Without that, a woman's life has not started. Remember? Remember? Mm-hmm. Because I think it is you, the women, who have had the most diabolical lies told to you. Ladies and gentlemen of the class of 2024, you are sitting at the edge of the rest of your lives. Each of you has the potential to leave a legacy that transcends yourselves and this era of human existence. In the small ways, by living out your vocation, you will ensure that God's church continues and the world is enlightened by your example. For the ladies present today, congratulations on an amazing accomplishment. You should be proud of all that you have achieved to this point in your young lives. I want to speak directly to you briefly because I think it is you, the women, who have had the most diabolical lies told to you. How many of you are sitting here now about to cross this stage and are thinking about all the promotions and titles you are going to get in your career? Some of you may go on to lead successful careers in the world, but I would venture to guess that the majority of you are most excited about your marriage and the children you will bring into this world. I can tell you that my beautiful wife, Isabel, would be the first to say that her life truly started when she began living her vocation as a wife and as a mother. I'm on this stage today and able to be the man I am because I have a wife who leans into her vocation. I'm beyond blessed with the many talents God has given me, but it cannot be overstated that all of my success is made possible because a girl I met in band class back in middle school would convert to the faith, become my wife, and embrace one of the most important titles of all, homemaker. He said something again and said he saw his wife and taking care of the kids, and he just see like, why can't women just step aside and take care of the family? Talking about how beautiful it is for women to maybe just step aside and prioritize their family and spend time with their children. The second thing we're going to be talking about today is child support forgiveness. Men are asking for child support forgiveness. The ones that are even paying $25 a month are asking for child support. <laughs> Let me go ahead and run some videos for you all to watch. And I will share my thoughts at the end of the videos. Talking about how beautiful it is for women to maybe just step aside and prioritize their family and spend time with their children. Can you imagine if we had a religion based on a goddess in the sky who had a daughter named Jess who came to earth like 2000 years ago and she had these 12 besties and they wrote a book together about how men just naturally belong in the home. And one of the only strong male characters was the virgin Marcus. And men also aren't allowed to have leadership roles in this church. And then we used this book as justification to enact policies that make it difficult for men to ever leave the home. And we say it's a really commendable job, but we also don't pay them for it. And then if they do ever leave, we complain about how he left and stole half her income. And we've also never had a male president, but none of it's in like a sexist way. Men are just stepping aside. They're not being pushed aside. They're just stepping aside. And it's really beautiful. And if anyone takes issue with any of it, they are being disrespectful towards our religion. So Harrison Butker, well, he's at it again, telling women what he thinks we should be doing, specifically when it comes to our lives and politics. How beautiful it is for women to maybe just st step aside. That's right. We should just step aside and focus on our families because our lives as women, according to Harrison Butker, don't really begin until we become wives and mothers. I keep looking around for this magical husband creature to appear. He hasn't. I guess I'm not alive. <sighs> of course he said this at an event with Josh Hawley. You remember him, the guy raising his fist in solidarity with the January 6th rioters at the Capitol. So again, not a shocker. 
but I do have a question for you, Harrison. Would you say that to your teammate's girlfriend, Taylor? Taylor Swift? Would you tell her to just step aside, put her billion dollar career aside, focus on having a family, just like they said on Fox News too this week? Hmm. When Harrison says women should step aside and start taking care of kids, my first question is, who are the ones taking care of the children, first of all? Are they the men taking care of the children or women? Let me know, because which one is women should step aside to start taking care of children? Who do you men leave kids for? Is it not your women? So what do you maybe men should step aside? Is kind of man that do not want his woman to have any other life aside from taking care of children. Seeing his woman taking care of children, chef kiss for him. <laughs> At this point, I pity the wife. I pity the wife. I pity the kid, Seth, because he's just a selfish MF. Men that want women to just centre their life around them and around their kids, around motherhood or alone without, you know, focusing on what the woman wants by herself as an individual. <sighs> these, men, these men just want that traditional women that just, you know, what they do is just wake up, take care of kids, don't have your life, don't have friends, don't go out, don't travel, don't walk, right? I'm going to bring the money and I'll give you whatever I want to give you. But then I will go out and do whatever I want to do. Why can't you say men should step aside and have this family born or men should step aside and take care of kids, right? And be there for their children. Why is it women that have to step aside? Step aside from what? Well, I'm not so surprised. After his first speech at that graduation, I already know the kind of person he is. So expect it. He's not the kind of person that you want to date or even marry because I personally pity the wife. I don't know even what she'll be going through. Because she's in soup. The government keeps sending me all these messages about, you know, tuition and college forgiveness. How about child support? How about taxes? Huh? How about those forgivenesses? Hmm? My daughter's father and I broke up when she was like six months old. So I pay for her school, after school activities, her everything has always been me. I hardly ever get child support from her father. Thankfully, I'm financially secure. I do not depend on it. But sometimes I think like, yo, it would be great if you could help out, you know? And he did. I got a child support payment. And honestly, I just want to say thank you. And for any other moms out there that are looking to get child support, like, don't give up. Don't give up. Because you too might receive $27.33 one day. Y'all niggas are so embarrassing. Like, beyond embarrassing. I know y'all are not on the fucking internet asking for child support forgiveness. Child support forgiveness. Kamala is proposing to give y'all money to start a business, to fund a business. Y'all are asking to remove the child support that you did not fucking pay. Take care. Like, there is already a stereotype associated with black fathers. And then y'all going to get y'all asses on the fucking internet talking about can you forgive child support? Just fucking embarrassing. So I had zero intentions of chiming into this conversation, largely because first things first, we're in mixed company. I don't believe we should have certain conversations in mixed company. Okay. However, I'm I'm perturbed. I, I am perturbed and disturbed that Kamala would offer you in words an opportunity to um fund a business and take care of yourself and your family. And the only question that some of you in words had was, but what about them kids though? Who gonna take care of them? Nigga, what? Now again, I did not want to have this conversation because not only are we a mixed company, but as someone who has a background in political science, I personally believe that there is a concerted effort during this election cycle to disengage black men by scapegoating them. The numbers show, the data shows that black men are not the people getting Trump over the finish line. It's white men, it's Latin men, it's uh, Latinx men, it's white women. Yet somehow 
black men are the target of conversation and black men are Kamala Harris's number one enemy. Nonetheless, for those of you asking about child support forgiveness, you're embarrassing, okay? You are embarrassing me and my homegirls and my ancestors. Hey, Milka, the election's coming up. Are you going to vote for Kamala? Mm -hmm. Vote for Kamala. I, I'm not really sure yet. I Why mean, not? I really want for Kamala to pass a child support forgiveness bill. I'm sorry, what? Yes, a child support forgiveness bill. What is that? A child support forgiveness bill is a bill that forgives all child support for black men so they can finally use that money to build wealth. So you want a bill that makes men not financially support their children? I'm, I'm confused. Well, why can't the mom just support the child? Like, why does the father have to help the mom with the child? Because they're their dad? Well, yes, because child support is keeping so many black men from building wealth. Isn't the average child support like $200, $250 a month? Yes, that's an extra $250 to $500 that a black man can use to build wealth for himself and his generations. But he has to use it on child support. That doesn't sound correct. I don't think wealth is $250 is stopping someone you from building wealth. It. You don't get how important it is for black men to build wealth instead of raising their children. Like, you really just don't get oh it. Oh my gosh, you're ridiculous. Now let's move to the child support forgiveness situation. I saw a video of men begging for child support. And they want the loan of child, or they want child support forgiveness out of it, da, da 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 And I'm like, what is going on? To be honest, <laughs> do you know what busts my head is when I read comment section of one of the videos, and somebody was like, the child support of you guys that pays twenty five dollars a month. In fact, there was a comment I saw. She was like, um, a dad was paying a mom one dollar sixty something cent every month when they were still little for child support i know there was a time i jokingly said that some men were paying two hundred dollars for child support every month i never knew it is real like so you are a man and you count two hundred dollars for your woman to take care of your child every month and you go out there and boast that you're paying child support, that you're taking care of your child and you're a father. <laughs> At first, I thought this is just a joke, right? Like, the, the amount is just, just a joke. But then, I see that it's not a joke. This is real. This is what these men pay for child support. I think it's that like time women just dump these children to their father. Let women be paying child support. Because what are you supporting with two hundred dollars? And some people are paying twenty five dollars. I was able to get two hundred dollars more. And some people are paying twenty five dollars, twenty five to buy what? They talk about the fact that their house is um if you're you're already paying for, for the light bill, for water, for rent, and everything. If you're the only one staying, so why is it that you have a child just a ch you have a child with me? And I have to be the one to pay for rent. Da, 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 da. Do you know the difference in having a child in the house and you being alone? Do you know like you spend more? Like, are you away? You spend more in feeding. You, you spend more in electricity, water. You spend so much more if you are, if you are with a child or children in the house. And we're not even talking about health care. We're not even talking about every other thing go to the groceries and all groceries do people spend two hundred dollars a month on groceries i don't know with children wow going for groceries alone and just buying the things that your child needs alone i don't think what you're dropping for child support makes sense but then you guys asking for child support forgiveness is ridiculous this is a lesson for women that just go out there and have smacks with men that don't have future. They don't have money. They just profess love and tell you, I love you. I'll do anything for you. I promise I will love. 
don't have children for them don't even dare because this is the reality at the end of the day you be the one struggling to take care of these kids and when they drop twenty five dollars a month they feel like they're part of the of the child's life i will return the money what's 25 what's 25 dollars unless you have a baby mama to a rich a rich dude maybe he can support you very well but then i feel like the average i was hearing is 250 dollars to that is the average they can pay for child support really we know that these men do not like children they don't even want those kids that they are giving you they are lying to you when they tell you I can't wait to get you pregnant. You're going to have my baby. It is a threat. I keep saying it. Anytime a man tells you something like that, I'll be like, oh, you're so pretty. Ah, I can't wait to get you pregnant. It is a threat. You're so pretty. Let me get you pregnant. He wants you ugly. Have you seen how pregnant women look? Have you seen how they look after they give birth? Before you can bounce back and get your body and get your skin back, you it takes a lot of work and they know that. And once you've gotten to that stage they'll give you another pregnancy so that you go back to the way you were it means they don't even want you they don't even want the child they're just doing it just because they want to punish you and at the end of the day they'll get you pregnant and leave you so that you can be their baby mama and so that they can be connected and be able to tell you anything and talk to you at any time on any given day and now tell you they are paying child support for 200 dollars really is it just me that like money or is that money enough? <laughs> it's not even enough for me for a week. What? <laughs> so they think the money they're paying for child support will make them rich, should get them to a particular stage whereby they will start making so much money or what? Like if they, if they save the money for child support, they'll be rich or they can get a house. <laughs> Please stop getting pregnant. For these men especially the ones that don't have money especially the ones that don't have future especially the ones that you've seen that they are dusty don't give excuses don't say when i when i give him a child it's going to change and things will get but no they won't get better they're gonna get worse and when you already have one stop there if you already have to stop don't have another one for him and say i plan i've heard some ladies say um, actually, in my lifetime, I want to have four kids. So I'm going to go on and continue having kids with this man, even though I know he's not a good father. Why are you wicked? You're wicked to your children and you're wicked to yourself as though. It shows that you don't even like yourself at all. Because at the end of the day, you're stuck with that four kids. How will you take care of them in this economy? Ladies, we need to wise up, right? We really need to wise up because... They want us to step aside and take care of kids. But then they're not ready to pay child support. <laughs> Even the ones that are not baby mama, the ones that are married, most of the men don't take care of their children. Some of them cannot, they're not even working enough to take care of their children. Some of them, some mothers are living single in their married homes while they are taking care of the kids by themselves. So it's still fall back to use your head when you're having kids, when you want to get pregnant. Use your head for this man. Not your heart or not your VJJ. Use your head before you consider having kids with this man. All right. What is your take on today's video? Can you share your thoughts down in the comment section respectfully? It's your girl, Maya Davids, and thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please like and share and subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next video <laughs> bye